Today we are going to be creating an abstract hair spike using N hair in Maya. So let's quickly get into it. I'm going to take a sphere to start off with. This will be as our base shape. And let's go to our channel box and I'm going to switch the radius to somewhere about 2. I think this will be a good start. And I'm going to switch our menu to FX. Alright, now before getting into the end here, I'm going to set up my whole scene just so it's a bit easier for us to manage the whole thing. I'm going to create a camera and let's bring this bring my camera. There we go. Bring this back. I'm going to set the focal length to maybe about 80. That seems like a good portrait focal length. And let's get into the camera, turn on your film gate, and see the resolution. And one more thing I'm going to change is the preset to 1K. I think it seems like a good fit for this and I think I'm gonna lock my camera from here. Let's make it a 25 value. Alright, let's lock it. Uh, once you're done with this, I'm gonna add a nice backdrop to it. Just add a simple thing. Let's make the whole division to 1 and 1. Scale this up and let's rotate this to somewhere about 90 degrees and there you go. If you don't know how I'm snapping the whole thing, I'm hitting uh, J on my keyboard for snapping. Uh, one more thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the subdivision to 50 and 50. Uh, that seems like a good a smoothing point for our sphere. Alright, so once you're done with this, we don't have anything for the lighting purpose. So I'm going to quickly get uh, area light and then later maybe take an HDRI. But for the starting purpose, I think uh, one area light will be good enough. Alright, and let's duplicate this. Let's take one more light and uh, it will be move this right about here and uh, let's maybe make it a top light so move this up and bring this right about here there you go right uh, i'm going to quickly rename this to key and this will be as our top light there you go now let's uh, start off with our overall sphere here so i'm going to zoom in here and i'm going to go to my end here and i'm going to create hair right instantly it creates uh, these hair follicles and i'm going to get into my camera and if you'll notice that it's kind of getting out of our whole uh, resolution the whole window of our end region so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select my hair system and i'm going to go to my end here and here you'll find scale here too and i'm going to quickly reduce the overall scale to right about there right whatever seems perfect for you and that's it so let's get into it again uh, so let's dive into our hair system overall to find out how we can create those spiky things the first thing you'll notice is that we have a very few amounts of clumps so i'm going to increase the clumps to about maybe 100 that seems like a good number and then other thing you'll notice is that we have a lot of gaps here now to fix this what i'm going to do is i'm going to change the overall clump width until it fills the whole thing all right now we do have some amount of gaps and if you'll notice that uh, in the end we have this broad ending which we don't want exactly so here you'll find the clump width scale i'm going to reduce this to somewhere about zero if you see here we have zero number and if you see the starting point of the hair follicles we have a width scale of one so from one it's going to zero so that's why we are getting this spiky thing now it looks pretty good, uh, the whole thing is pretty good. I'm going to add a bit of a thinning here, maybe of a 0.100 value. And uh, one more thing, you can add a bit of a twist here, all right? But this doesn't make that interesting twisty look. If I show you, uh, let me just start off my IPR here. Uh, let's uh, switch to our camera. I'm going to go to my key light. And let's use an exposure of 8 and for the top, we'll use an exposure of 5. We have two lights. All right, so there you go. Here you'll find that we see something. And I'm going to select my key light again. Let's make it 12. All right, and here I'm going to make this 8. All right, so we see something. Uh, it's not a lot, but uh, you'll notice that uh, we see some hair comes here. So I'm going to go back to my hair system here. And here you'll find that uh, we have this hair width, uh, which has been set to 0 0.010. I'm going to change this to maybe like 3, 0, 30. And now we have a uh, better clumps, uh, better hair width. And it's kind of a filling the whole thing. And I think I'm going to keep it to that. I'm just going to fill the whole scene with more hair. I think that will be much better to look at. Yeah, there you go. Now for the remaining twisty part, 
Uh, now here you will find clump close and if you switch this you will start to see, let me close this, alright, and I am going to make this 0 again, sorry, 5, alright. So this is your overall here and if you select this you will find this clump, clump uh, curl. Now here uh, we have a linear value. So for the, from the starting point we have 0 .100, uh, 0 0.500 value and for the end point we have 0.500 value. And uh, here you have two options if you want the overall twist to be done on the starting point or the end point. So here I want it to be done on the end point. So if I change this you will start to notice that we are getting those curls. And there you go. right? So I'm going to quickly get a value of maybe 4. I don't want the curl to be a bit too much uh, otherwise we will lose its overall effect. All right? Now here you'll notice that even though we are getting these curls, we have kind of a rigid hair and the reason is because we don't have that many segments to support the overall bendiness. So what I'm going to do is go to my hair clumps, um, sorry sub segments and I'm going to make this number about 8. Let's maybe make it 12. Right. I think it's a bit too much. I think this will be much better. Right. So I'm going to go with 8 and uh, I'm going to change the clump twist to Alright, let's keep it a zero and let's see the overall effect. Then we can get into the whole thing. Alright, so there you go. We are getting nice uh, shading here of this brownish hair tint and the nice spikes here. Now we see some gaps here. If you'll notice, now if I play this, I'm gonna stop it right about there. I'm not gonna let it fall all the way. Uh, with that, you'll start to see that we get this little bit of dynamic here. Alright, somewhere right about here maybe. I think it's a bit too much but you get the idea. So it's looking kind of nice, uh, the overall look is pretty good. We do have some kind of gaps in the middle so I'm going to increase a bit more air follicles here and I'm going to go back to the whole thing and let's increase the display quality and then go back to, uh, you'll notice that we are getting this error was only partially drawn and uh, that's quite alright. Go back and reduce the number to 200 and enter all right that's it all right so once uh, everything is fixed uh, you see this nice little hair follicles now the time comes for the shading and i'm going to open this up i'm going to draw a render region right about here and you'll notice that we are getting this uh, standard shader which is done in the shading part so if you change this all right you get the shader but instead of using the native shader what we are going to be doing is using arnold's uh, own shader. So I'm going to quickly get into the Arnold and here you'll find that we have hair shader which is completely blank. So I'm going to click on the checker and let's go to the Arnold and here you'll find if you select uh, the shader uh, AI stand here. Select this. Now even though we have selected the overall AI stand here you still won't find anything. The reason is because we have to check the override color here. Alright so once you have done this go back to your overall um, shader, increase the diffuse and from here choose what whichever color you want, whatever uh, the look you are going for. And from here I am going to update the full scene and there you go. Alright, so it looks pretty good and um, yeah, let's select this, I am going to draw a new region right over here. Yeah. Alright, uh, this looks pretty good, not too bad. I'm going to quickly add a bit uh, of a lighter color to the background. I'm going to call this BG. And uh, let's see. And let's increase the roughness. Alright, there you go. Alright, so there are a few things that we have to do uh, regarding the whole thing, uh, the hair thing. The first thing I'm going to do is increase a bit more segment in my sphere to about... Uh, Maybe like 80 or so and let's go to any system let's see how much uh, it can draw display quality to about a thousand and um, let's see yeah let's go back up and let's increase the clump width and i think i want a bit more hair width and there you go and let's let it fall and right about here catch it in the middle uh, where you see partially hair falling down right and that looks pretty good now if you are not satisfied with this you want a bit of a different result or a different look what you can do is you can also add a bit of a turbulence in there uh, maybe of intensity of two 
and that way when it's falling down you'll have some kind of randomization right as you can see here. Uh, if you want you can also keep it to just this uh, it's totally up to you uh, but again it will look much better if you have some kind of hair falling now um, let's increase it to 0.500 and let's pause it right that way you will get a much dynamic result yeah there you go so this looks pretty good uh, again if you want what you can do is instead of using these lights i'm going to quickly create a hdr and bring out my file all right so here i've loaded in my hdr file and i'm going to turn on my ipr so there you go i'm going to increase a nice samples here i'm going to increase some exposure uh, let's give it a two and two value of diffuse and uh, now we have something interesting uh, now for the bg again you can select uh, some bit of a different color if you want you can go for maybe something like this all right and uh, yeah have fun with this so this looks pretty good looks pretty amazing again uh, you can render this out with your gpu as well so if you want a bit of a faster rendering and if you want uh, to animate this again you can uh, bake the whole thing to get this animated shot and this looks pretty good so have fun with this try to create something of your own try to create an interesting and abstract result out of it and uh, show me all right so that's it uh, thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video